said you closed the deal with him? Yes, Mr. Webster. It's here where it all began. I see. This is where he wants to collect, too, hmm? Here, James. Oh, Mary. Can't I stay? Here, yeah, Mary, I think you'd better go back to the house. What love and trust can do for a husband, you've done for yours. Now, frankly speaking, in a few moments, this is not going to be any place for a lady. Mr. Webster, you will help him then. I'll do my best. You must go, Mary. Now, don't be afraid, Jabez. Remember what the good book says. Set me as a seal upon my heart, as a seal upon mine arm, for love is strong as death. They grow plucky women in New England. How long do we have to wait? Till midnight. Oh, that's fine. Then we have time to christen a jug. <laughs> Old Medford rum. Oh, there's nothing like it. You know, somehow or other, waiting becomes wonderfully shorter with a jug. I saw an inchworm once take a drop of this, and he stood right up on his hind legs and bit a bee. Have a nip? No, there's no joy in it for me. Oh, come, come now. Just because you sold your soul to the devil, that needn't make you a teetotaler. Hurry, Mr. Webster, hurry while you still have time. No, no. I never left a jug or a case half finished in all my life. Come in. So we meet again, Mr. Webster. Yes, I'm the attorney of record for Jabez Stone. Might I ask your name? Scratch will do for the evening. Uh, may I show you? Yes, certainly, but be careful. Medford Rum has an uncanny habit of kicking back, even with old timers like yourself. <laughs> you kicked back once at you, didn't it? Me? Oh, not that you ever been drunk. No, no, indeed, Mr. Webster. But a kind of a, an overpowering lassitude, or more plainly, a deep enveloping sleep. Why, there isn't enough old Medford rum in the whole of New Hampshire to make me sleepy. Hawk, oh, never proved that question, Mr. Webster. Cup for cup, what do you say? All right. Cup for cup. Mr. Webster, don't. Oh, don't be afraid. Now, Mr. Stone, are you willing to give me your son in exchange for an extension of our contract? Never. And surely this matter can be settled out of court without any difficulty. My client is prepared to offer a compromise. Ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars, name your figure. I'll raise it, even if I have to mortgage Marshfield. <laughs> your spirited efforts on behalf of your client do you credit, Mr. Webster. But if you have no further arguments to adduce, I'll take him along now. Not so fast, Mr. Scratch. If you have any evidence, produce it. Of course, Mr. Webster. <laughs> All over the above, boss, and you in legal form. That's your signature? You know darn well it is. Hmm. This appears, uh, mind you, I say, appears to be properly drawn. But you shan't have this man. A man isn't a piece of property. Mr. Stone is an American citizen. And an American citizen cannot be forced into the service of a foreign prince. Foreign? Who calls me a foreigner? Oh, I never heard of the death. I never heard of you claiming American citizenship. And who with a better right? When the first wrong was done to the first Indian, I was there. When the first slaver put out for the Congo, I stood on the deck. Am I not still spoken of in every church in New England? <laughs> it's true, the North claims for a southerner and the South for a northerner, but I'm neither. Tell the truth, Mr. Webster, though, I don't like the boast of it. My name is older in the country than yours. And I stand on the Constitution. I demand a trial for my client. You mean a jury trial? I do. If I can't win this case with a jury, you'll have me too. If two New Hampshire men aren't a match for the devil, we better give the country back to the Indians. Very well. <laughs> you shall have your way, Mr. Webster. But you'll have to admit that this is hardly the case for an ordinary jury. Be it the quick or the dead. So it'd be an American judge and an American jury. Quick or the dead? You have said. <laughs> May the better man win, Mr. Webster. I'll drink to that, Mr. Scratch. Pardon the leathery toughness of one or two. Mr. Webster! 
jumped and killed. He killed men for gold. Simon Gertie, the renegade, he burned men for gold. Governor Dale, he broke men on the wheel. Asa, black monk, he choked to death. <laughs> Floyd Irison and Steve Bonnet, the fiendish butchers. Walter Butler, king of the massacre. Big and Little Harp, robbers and murderers. Peach the Cutthroat. Morton the Vicious Lawyer. And General Benedict Arnold. You remember him, no doubt. The jury of the damned. Dastards, liars, traitors, knaves. This is monstrous. You asked for a jury trial, Mr. Webster. Your suggestion. The quick or the dead. I asked for a fair trial. Americans all. <laughs> The trial dream of the midnight court of the state of New Hampshire and the county of Franklin is now in session. Justice Hayfall is residing. Oye, oye, oye. The devil versus Jabez Stone. Four cares for the plaintiff. Aye, Your Honor. And for the defendant? Aye, Your Honor. Are you content with the jury, Mr. Webster? I object to General Benedict Arnold, Your Honor. He was a flagrant traitor to the great American cause. Objection denied. Prosecution proceed. Nah. Your Honor, gentlemen of the jury, this case need not detain us long. It concerns one thing alone, the transference, part of sale of a certain piece of property, to wit, his soul, of Javis Stone. That transference, part of sale, is attested by a deed. I offer the deed in evidence, and mark it exhibit A. I object. Objection denied. I object to this jury, Your Honor. I move it be discharged for flagrant and open bias. Objection denied. Market exhibit A. I shall now call Jabez Stone to the witness stand. Jabez Stone to the witness stand. Mr. Stone. Did you or did you not sign that document? But you tricked me into it. You told me my soul was nothing. That I could forget all about a soul in exchange for money. But that was a lie, a lie, a lie. <laughs> that is highly irrelevant to the case, Your Honor. You leave out the soul and proceed. I should like to ask Mr. Stone whether or not I faithfully fulfilled my part of the bargain. Didn't I give you seven years of good luck and prosperity? Didn't I make you the richest man in the country? Yes, I'm the richest man in the country. I can't see, I can't think of anything but money, 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 money! Well, I'm hardly responsible for the pricking of your wholly unnecessary conscience. Prosecution rests. Does the jury wish to consider the case? Evidently, it does not. Take your man, Mr. Scratch. I protest, Your Honor. I wish to cross-examine to prove that... There will be no cross-examination in this court. You may speak if you want to. But let me warn you, Mr. Webster. If you speak and fail to convince us, you too are doomed. 